guys, what's going on? Dan here, time for another episode of First Bite. This is a pretty big review actually, and I didn't even know it was gonna be a big review when I started this. It's Monday, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, Friday or Saturday like always. This is like Monday. I'm filming this on a Monday at like 3.30, because I got nothing better to do, not working today. I'm out playing golf and doing pizza reviews on a Monday afternoon, no big deal. I can get used to this kind of lifestyle. Need to find a way to generate some extra income so that uh, I just don't have to work anymore and I can just play golf every day. If I if my golf game was as good as my reviews, then I'd be on the PGA Tour. But then it wouldn't be fun anymore. Then it would be working golf instead of hobby golf, and then I wouldn't like it. So, you know, vicious cycle. Hawk and Hog, 140 North Parsons Avenue, Brandon, Florida, 33510. Does that look familiar? Back in the day, if you've been around Brandon a while, that's where the original Aseptima location was. Also back, was it episode two of this channel when I did Brandon Pizzeria? That exact same location, that exact same address, that exact same unit in that plaza. Now, Hawk and Hog. This is a collaboration in case you were wondering. Fish Hawk Pizza, Holy Hog Barbecue. I was not super impressed with Holy Hog Barbecue when I reviewed it on this channel. I reviewed the downtown location. I don't remember what episode it was. The owner came out to talk to me while I was waiting for my pizza. He said two things. First of all, this has nothing to do with Brandon Pizzeria. That business and that owner is long gone. Secondly, he has divested from the Holy Hog franchise. And he said that they were doing some things in the downtown location that he didn't really like. They were taking some shortcuts. Starting to make sense. This guy, John, that came out to talk to me, I mean, he just put it on the table. He says, we're better. He says, we are better. Better. To be fair... Not to sound like a smart ass, but to be fair, he had to have been better than that 3.8 that I gave originally. Or even, what did, I think I, when I did the revision, I think I did it as a 4.3. But still, had to be better. And it is. Mm-hmm. I just hammered a slice. I mean, look, it's, I, I like that. I like how thin it is. Mmm. The cheese is good. The sauce is good. I got a couple of things going on here. So let me take a break from the pizza real quick. Bonus root beer review. Old Brooklyn root beer. It's quintessential root beer. Old Brooklyn. That's just Old Brooklyn. Old Brooklyn Williamsburg root beer. We're not just talking about Brooklyn. We're talking about Williamsburg, Brooklyn style root beer. I didn't know Williamsburg had their own style of root beer. Classic root beer. Classic quintessential 8.1 root beer. Might be a little bit better than that. I, it might be a little better than 8.1. I don't know. I'm going to, I was looking for some, I was, I thought it was going to blow me away when I tried it. And I was just like, okay, it's classic middle of the road, classic root beer. So, Hawk and Hog, you know, being a collaboration, they're going to do pizza and they're going to do barbecue. They did me up a brisket slice. This guy, John, is telling me he's got brisket smoking right there on location. He also said a couple weeks they're going to have fried chicken on location. He also said Mr. Beast. I guess there's a YouTuber called Mr. Beast. That has like millions of followers. I, I don't know why he has millions of subscribers and I only have like 105 right now. I don't know. All of his subscribers need to like go ahead and click the subscribe button for me too. But anyway, they're going to be doing Mr. Beast's Burger on location. They got some crazy things going on. I'm going to have to go back. Barbecue brisket pizza. I got to go back and try the barbecue because it's an offshoot of Holy Hog, but it's not Holy Hog barbecue. That's good. 
Wow. That, I mean, that is solid. Here's the only thing that's weird about it. I'm not saying it's bad. Just saying it's different in that you order a pizza, this is what you expect, something like that. If you want barbecue, you get barbecue. And there's a, there's a niche, there's a lot of people that like barbecue pizza, so this would work for you. If I like barbecue, I just like, I like a platter of barbecue. Ribs, brisket, mac and cheese, potato salad, baked beans, that kind of thing. But this is good. I just don't think that I would order a whole pie. This is kind of the dark horse. This is kind of the sleeper in Brandon. And I think people got scared away because Brandon Pizzeria was churning out garbage. No, totally different. 7.7 .7 on the regular mushroom pie. The, um, the hawk and hog, the barbecue brisket slice, 8.2. 8.2 with the disclaimer that, again, I don't think that I could eat a whole pie. I wish that I could customize a pie where I had like on a 14 inch pizza where they cut it into six slices. I wish I could have five slices of mushroom and one slice of this. That would be great. I know I'm asking for too much. I know that that's unreasonable, but anyway, we might see more from this place on this channel. We just might see more. I'd like to try the Mr. Beast burger. I don't know if Mr. Beast is going to be in Brandon, Florida, but I would like to meet this guy. Maybe I could pick up some YouTube tips on how to actually get subscribers and make money so I don't have to work my regular job so that I could just make videos and play golf every day. That would be awesome. Uh, and I want to try some fried chicken too. John, thank you. Nice to meet you. Hope you're watching the video. Deuces. Dan is out. Been another episode of First Bite.